Hi everybody, welcome to the video surprise of the day. Today's video surprise is on the 2024 Toyota Grand Highlander. So this is going to be a news release. You want to keep that in mind. And please remember to subscribe, hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos. And I really appreciate that thumbs up. Thank you very much in advance. One of the things about the current Highlander, it's not perfect because it's the size. Well, if you use the third row, which does have a third row, you're not going to get the cargo capacity. So, you know, if you put down the third row, you're not going to have enough seating. So Toyota is trying to solve this problem with a new Toyota Grand Highlander. So that's going to be a bigger SUV altogether. And it's going to come in grades XLE, Limited, and Platinum. So the different packages, I put the news release in the description if you want to read it through. And... Overall, it's going to be a very solid vehicle and it's going to be on top of the pricing pretty much too because it's bigger. So they're going to come with three engine choices, 2.4 liter turbo gas, you know, that comes in front wheel drive, all wheel drive, and it's going to come in the efficient 2.5 liter hybrid, comes in front wheel drive, all wheel drive, and also the ultimate one, and they call it the hybrid max. 362 horsepower and 400 pound of torque with standard all wheel drive. So that's something that if you really wanted a vehicle that has power and uh, and then some, you know, zero to 60 time is 6.3 seconds. It's pretty impressive for a big vehicle like this. Towing is good for 5,000 pounds. So that's pretty good overall. They also mentioned that uh, they're going to have a uh, Traffic jam assist, heads up display, digital rear view mirror. But the more noteworthy item is the 12.3 inch multimedia display. So that's something to note besides the third row seating. The one shown here has the panoramic windows, sunroof, or you want to call it, on top. And it does have a little, you know, bronze touch to it. So Give or take if you like that or you don't like that. And another indication is for this Highlander, it's a little bit more, I say, prepped up because Lexus is going to release the TX in the future, right? And definitely a lot of USB C ports to charge your phone and such. You can see that in the video over here. And two seat settings, uh, you could save two memory seat settings. And definitely more spacious and thorough capacity is important if you have a lot of passengers and also have a lot of cargo. So, of course, you could put the cargo down and also have seating. So, that's the best possibility that you could get from this particular vehicle. So, no pricing has been released yet. So, that's something to note. If you really uh, want to hang out one day, they're going to release the pricing, and it's going to be definitely a lot more than some of the current models. So if you're shopping for a Grand Highlander, you're gonna be expecting to pay more. Styling, well, it works. Not very special styling overall. Uh, not gonna be the luxury styling, but exterior looks pretty good. You have the fog lamps and everything like that. This one does have a lot of storage. You can see with the cup holders and such. And infotainment is not lacking at all either. So a lot of uh, USB ports, USB-C, the seats go down, you can see that. All right, and you can have more cargo space. Uh, this one is shown with the turbo engine in particular and the nice size multimedia information display, which is great with the bigger size, easier to see and quite responsive as well too. Appreciate the, the dual zone climate control knobs over here. Hopefully you liked the video. I really appreciate a thumbs up. Comment to share, please leave it below. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.